Good morning, friends. I got a question from a subscriber about how much is my water bill in Ajijic, Mexico. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. For those of you who are always in a hurry, like uh, the millennials, uh, my water bill runs around 3,000 pesos per year. And um, right now that would be like $160, $170 by the U.S. Uh, exchange rate. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. It depends upon a formula that they have for your um, water consumption. The bill can vary according to how many bathrooms you have, how many square meters of construction you have on your property, how many square meters of garden you have on your property, um, if you have a swimming pool or not, and there's a formula for that. And then they charge you accordingly. The other way that uh, charges are made for the water company in Ahihik is some people have a meter. And I have a meter. When I made my offer on the property years ago, um, the property that I bought did not have its own water connection. It was hooked up to the neighboring property. And part of my uh, purchase offer was that there would be a um, connection to the city water system for that property. It wouldn't be using the neighbor's connection. Now, uh, there are some of those kinds of connections in Mexico, and this wasn't one of those kinds of connections where somebody is just kind of piggybacking off of their neighbor. The neighboring property was owned by the same family. And years before that, it had been just one property, so the plumbing wasn't hooked up to the neighbor. It's just that um, the neighbor used to be the same property. Well, anyway, um, it was less expensive at the time for the seller of the property to hook up a meter. They were giving a discount for the hookup fees if you would take a meter instead of just having an unlimited supply. So now I have, and those people who have a meter, have a uh, 15 cubic meter usage. Uh, and if you go above that, you pay extra. And you only pay this like once a year. So after the first year of owning the property, I go to the water company and they have um, a huge bill. like way more than I'm going to pay. It was like 8,000 pesos when it should have been, at the time, 2,000 pesos. And I'm telling him it's not right, and what we finally figure out is that the previous people hadn't gotten all of the bill paid, and I'm saying, that's their problem and your problem, it's not my problem. Well, um, <laughs> the officials at the water company didn't agree with me. So anyway, um, I'm not paying. And this goes on for like three years. I don't pay the water bill. And finally we settle and I pay something like maybe twice as much as I would for those... Um, it went on for two years, so at the end of this, it was three years that uh, I owed for. So I paid more than I should have, but I was happy to just get it all resolved. And I told them that I would like to have a water bill more often than one every year. So now I make them bring me a water bill. I make them. I requested a bill be delivered to me uh, every month. And... It doesn't come every month, but it comes every two months. But I still don't pay it uh, uh, until at the end of the year. Uh, so, after I made that one big payment, 
then they said, would you like to make um, a payment in advance for the next year? And I said, well, why would I do that? Because you get a discount. You get like a 15% discount if you pay in advance for the year. Okay, so uh, how, do you, how do you know how much I'm going to use? Because I have a meter. Well, you pay this amount and then uh, you get a discount on your basic amount if you were paying... Uh, if you're if you're paying this much for the 15 meters cubic meters per month if you go over that you will owe more well what if I go under that well no you have to pay at least that much that's the minimum fee but you get a discount on the minimum fee if you pay in advance so I did and it amounted to about fifty dollars for the year okay so a year goes by and I go in to pay the bill and uh, they say, well, you owe this much because you went over your 15 per month that much. And I say, well, that's fine, but uh, you don't have my discount in here. Oh, yes, we do. And they show me down here, it says discount, 500 pesos. And I go, yeah, it's written there, but it's not subtracted from the bill. Uh, part of this is Spanish English and I'm maybe not explaining myself well but it's real obvious to me because math isn't Spanish math is math and my 500 peso discount is not taken out of the total that I owe it's taken out of my initial payment and so the difference between what I owed after the discount and my excess use is what they think is the difference between what I paid and what I owe. And that's not right. <laughs> anyway, I'm arguing with them for a long time. And finally, they get out. Um, now, what, I, what, what they're showing me is um, a, a sheet of paper, and it's a printout from their computer. They take me to the computer and show me an Excel spreadsheet about where the printout came from, and it's the same thing, the discount, 500 pesos. And it's subtracted from my initial payment, but then what I owe is the difference between my balance after the discount and the total I owe today. And that doesn't give me a discount. <sighs> so... They take me over to a four-drawer file cabinet, and there's a card. It's a five-by-seven card, and every payment that I and the previous owner have made for years is on this three-by-five card, a paper thing. Okay? All right. So, finally, I just give up. and Fine, I'll pay it. I get the money out of my pocket, and they say... Uh, we need to have your receipt from last year. So why do you need my receipt? You've got a computer that shows you what I'm going to pay. You have this printout that I brought with me, a bill you sent me, and you have this 3 by 5 card. You've got three records of what I paid. Why do you need my receipt? And they say, because the administration just changed and we do not trust the previous administration to have recorded your payment correctly. I go home and I get my receipt and I come back and I pay. And as I'm paying and they hand me a receipt, the lady says, would you like to pay in advance for next year? And I say, well, why would I do that? And she says, because you would get a discount. I have never <laughs> paid in advance again. <laughs> uh, it's not a Spanish-English problem. I don't know what the problem is. All I know is I didn't get a discount. Um, 
the rest of this video today is going to be about the Balneario. The Balneario in San Juan Cosala. The Mexicans keep telling me I say that wrong. It's not Cosala, it's Cosala. No, it's Cosala. Eh, never mind. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, there's a hot tub and huge, big, uh, heated swimming pool. And the water is heated naturally by um, underground hot water, uh, like geysers, like some of them even like erupt, like Yellowstone Park. And they have one over there that's capped, and they let off the pressure every once in a while, and it's like an eruption. Anyway, there's this huge place called the Balneario, and it's hot tubs, and you can go underground and... I was looking at my camera, <laughs> hoping the lens cover wasn't on, which is what it looked like for a second. Uh, you can go underground and commune with a geyser, and it's a big, uh, big, big pool of hot water, natural hot water under the ground. They put eucalyptus oil in it. It's very pleasant, but you can only be in there for a very few minutes because it's really, really hot. Um, and they have a big water slide and. Anyway, enjoy the video. It's about a day we spent at the Balneario, which is four kilometers from my house in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. Number one test with the underwater camera. I hope the case is working. That is hard on the sinuses. Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> so, is this like a contest to see who's got the best hair? I think I win. Huh? You think so? I haven't seen mine. I don't have a mirror. What's it look like? Pretty awesome. Uh, we're doing the hot tub circuit again. Yeah. And then before we play another game of cards.
Wisconsin? Hundred and nine degrees. Hundred and nine. Wait, I gotta get this. What's this? This camera is under. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.